horizon as it is subtended from the horizontal. So if you were looking horizontally from a mountain or a big tower, say the Toronto Tower, and you looked yeah. horizontally, then the horizon would be very slightly below your horizontal, and you could measure that, and that would give you the radius of the Earth. On a flat Earth, there would be no angle below the horizontal. If you don't understand this, and you're not really very familiar with the geometry issues that are concerned with being on a sphere or on, on a flat Earth, I'm a bit surprised you don't understand this. So you That's could the yourself... Only way I can tell. That's the only way I can tell. So there are here. many, many ways, but I thought you might like one you could personally check. And then you Not the entire the the measurement of the dip angle, which I want, as I described earlier, is the angle of horizon relative to the horizontal, will be zero on a flat Earth, and it will have a value on a spherical Earth. And then you can tell us what that radius is. And it's a time. It's do ridiculous. you accept? Do you understand that on a idea. flat? Well, okay. Well, do you understand on a flat Earth that the angle to the horizon will be zero degrees? Or don't you understand? Well, you like to draw right. your diagram. Yeah. I understand so what you're I, I understand well, what I'll angles draw, are. Let me draw you a diagram. Oh, let's you don't have to draw a diagram. No, let's do anything. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, God. Right. So here is here is the um, the, the, the mountain uh, thing. Sorry. And the, this is the observer. And this is the flat Earth here. So I will um, uh, just draw some uh, things on there. Uh, let's just fill that in. Um, Be, so that's just indicating the Earth. Right, so um, this actually it's best always to do this on water, actually, of course. I've drawn it in Earth, but let's, let's do this on water. Now, if this distance is sufficiently large, this distance um, uh, to the end, so this is what this is where the horizon, as you perceive it, might be, and you go up to the nice tall mountain here. This um, angle, if this is um, in, uh, a very long way away, this angle here, the horizon, uh, this angle here, which is the dip angle, so here's the dip angle between there. And the dip angle is this angle here. Okay. So, so Rumpus, where are we? Where are we on this image? We're on the top so, of that so, knob. Yeah, we're here. Sorry, the observer is here. Okay. Okay. That observer. Okay. Observer. All right. Cool. Actually, let me go and get. You guys uh, seeing seeing Rumpus, right? Click on his icon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we and can see the microphone. And you see his yeah. mouth also, right, where he's pointing. Right. So here is the local horizontal. This is the thing that we have. You know that. Uh, Mind of God was, you know, we're all having problems trying to identify this. But you can see optically, using a using a ultra level that George has got, you can identify the horizontal. And this is what's called the dip angle. Uh, mm -hmm. This angle here. So this is the thing that, um, uh, 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 yeah, that's what's, this is what's called the dip angle. It's the angle to horizon below the horizontal, say 25,000 miles or so. This effectively. So you mean the angle you just said didn't exist? That dip, the dip angle you just drew? But said didn't exist. Would that be the dip angle you're referring to? So there'd be no dip angle on a level plane. But then you draw, pointing out the dip angle on a plane. More double speak, more the same. What has you can zero point five degrees is easily measurable. So, you then take these two examples. You know that on a flat Earth that the angle's going to be zero, and you know... Okay, you see what he just showed? On a flat Earth, the angle would be zero. In fact, it would be impossible for the angle to be zero. Okay, especially up on a hill. But it would be mathematically even impossible. I mean, it, it'd go to infinity. It'd go to point zero, 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 zero. It could never get to zero. He, he doesn't, I mean, he just says whatever. He says anything that supports his model. He's just full of shit. So on a curved Earth, it's going to have a value, and this value is dependent on the radius of the Earth. So you personally, just from one measurement, simply finding somewhere tall where you've got a nice body of water so you know it's on the horizontal, you know it's, it's horizontal rather than being some sort of wiggly uh, ground topography, you personally can establish, one, that the Earth is spherical, two, you can then even come back to us and say, I've determined the radius is this. And this is what someone in the 11th century did, and he came back with a value using very crude optics of something I think was within 2 or 3% of the correct radius of the Earth. So he determined the horizon from the radius of the Earth, and then he used the horizon to measure the radius of the Earth. 
Well, at least he's accidentally honest and retarded at the same time. But yeah, he just said it. But yeah, so he he's uh, just referring to a geometric horizon, which he says we don't don't see. Just double speak, triple speak, blurting shit out.